Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Do you even have the Rapunzel outfit on? <laughs> okay. So what's up, fellow journeyers? Today, you're gonna find out have my feelings changed about the paint? <laughs> Am I embracing it? And this is our last day. We have to wrap things up. Stuart and Lindsay are moving on. So we've got a lot of things we've got to get done today. We're gonna have the big reveal for you guys. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, did, did you do it, buddy? Did he do it? Yep. Good job, JJ. You get a prize, buddy. Hold on. Batman car. <laughs> it works. Is it's that... a Batman car. Did you get that for going poo-poo? Yeah. A fist bump? <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite changes we've made. I like the wood accents we're, we're doing around here. It's really nice. Obviously, you've already seen the wood trim at the top. The old color of the cabinets, as you remember, did not match that wood, but we had a vision in mind. We went back and forth, but I'm telling you, this color just is so calming and makes me feel so happy. <laughs> it's a neutral, but at the same time, it just brings a little bit of like life in here. When you have an RV like this, your windows are your artwork, right? So like I wanted everything to just kind of flow even out into nature. I love it. So this, from what I understand, it's nothing more than just sanding. And obviously you know what kind of surface you have, but you can just, you can just sand it down. Um, some pencil and you can add some right. tinsel or whatever that is too. <laughs> uh, so we have sanded this down. You've already seen where we've kind of like added the wood accent here, added wood here, got the wood around the headers, done the wood accent here, the, even the handrail. Pretty much anything that can be sanded, we're sanding. <laughs> we have really changed what was here before. I've always loved open shelving, but then you're like, in an RV, I have to move it every time. All this stuff was what was in the cabinet before, pretty much. We just put it in baskets. We can secure- Well, not the greenery and the wood stuff. I mean, the greenery stand. wasn't, <laughs> but we're going to put that down. We're gonna sticky it down and everything can stick and put it in baskets where it can um, we can stick the baskets and ride. I will have to figure out a cup solution. I'll probably have to pack those up. Instead of the wine rack, I was like, I wish I had a place to store my fruits and vegetables. Because right now the fruits and vegetables sit Yeah, on the we kind of keep them in a bowl on the side. And when we had the Airstream, we did. We had like a hanging fruit basket that kind of protected our flat. But I was like, what if we could find a solution to have like some baskets that we could store our fruit and vegetable in? So I found these at Target. It fit perfectly and so we're welding a solution here we, we as in Stuart. <laughs> you have an idea Stuart can make it come to life so i'm like can we add these baskets in it's still a work in progress we're figuring out how is that going to stay in there down the road because really don't want to have to take the baskets out but essentially these baskets will slide in and then you've got fruit and vegetable storage instead of of space that wasn't being used before Shop, you know. Get going, girls. Doing good. So next surprise for you guys, we're taking a window out. I wish we were kidding. <laughs> we're not. A window has to come out again. But at least it's not for the couch this time. Yeah, here goes another window. <laughs> we noticed um, over the last few weeks. Uh, did you I clean the streaks? I cleaned the wall today. You cleaned the streaks, oh my goodness. I cleaned the wall well, today. I know you can see a little bit of oh, it right yeah. here. Down the window, there's streaks coming down. You can see here too. Marissa, thanks a lot for cleaning, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you could tell there's some water coming in this window somewhere. This is not one we've taken out. The one we've taken out has been holding up. As far as we can tell, it's not leaking at all. Taking this window out, which at this point we're experts, right? So that window's coming out, we're gonna reseal it. And then we're putting it back in, which is why we have the sweat labor going on with the kids. Um, Stewart's gonna be back in his truck up over here. And, uh, I feel really official right now. Yeah, that's very uh, <laughs> definitely official window attire. Oh, big truck back in. Now look, big truck. All right, so our hardware came in. The first one we ordered did not fit. <laughs> Apparently, um, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was. I can't measure. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't gonna say who measured wrong, but um, yeah, 
our uh, contractor Nathan had I had measured wrong. So scratch that. We got new ones in. We went back and forth on a few colors. What do you think we chose? A lot more use out of these suction cups than I thought we would. I feel like I should have you put that on. <laughs> no, you're fully liable now. It's all you. What's up? Can you tell it was leaking? That's what I'm looking for. Obviously, we just loosened this. <laughs> what I'm more looking for is the compression. Okay. You know, because obviously, like, you know, obviously compression means that it was pushed against it pretty well. These corners are light, but they're still a little bit there. Like I said, I'm going to get this prepped, and then I'm going to go back just to double check everything on the seal itself on the actual unit. But, like, the shocking part is, like, you know how much water was coming into this thing. Like, I would have figured this would have at least still been yeah, You saw it before she cleaned it up, I guess, the streaks, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's I time that cleaning perfectly I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be pull, <laughs> pulling the, the windows <laughs> no it's just a regular occurrence around here now I mean it's we, not thought, good, you, we thought you looked bored and yeah you come it's not a good window. time until we're taking windows out around here Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair do you even have the Rapunzel outfit on <laughs> okay. there you go all right I'm climbing up ready I'm gonna pull it. oh oh no Rapunzel You gonna fix it, JJ? Trying to fix it. Yeah, fix it. There you go. Like a lot of boys. Oh, what do you? Oh no. Can't there you go. Here, look. Thank you. We talked about a few different options, and we went with this color. It's called Champagne. So here's the first one Lindsay put on here. Look at that. I think it's just the perfect touch of just like softness. I'm telling you, this doesn't even feel like an RV in here. That's a good choice. We added just a little bit. I don't know if you can see this tad bit of gold in the lights too. So that's why we decided to go with like maybe a little pop of the of the champagne that's in the lighting. It just brings in a little bit of softness. Makes the, the cabinets kind of pop as well there. I'm loving this champagne. Oh, that's heavier than last time, isn't it? How heavy is that tape? All right, watch out girls. Uh, let me get my fingers out here. So since we're on the water theme, problem number two, well, the, well, first good news. From Tennessee to Florida, previous issue with the frame moving right here, seal being broken and this drooping and water coming in and the whole deal. So this is what the steel frame does while the jack is up to simulate, you know, if it's on the truck or there's pressure on the nose, you can see it's sort of digging into the aluminum part of the frame right there. All right, go ahead. Oh, there you go, oh my goodness. <laughs> And that's what it looks like when the pressure is taken off of the jack. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, look at that separation. Wow. Yeah. Total. <laughs> Stop. Stuart fixed it. It did not move the whole time, and it's done great. That's the good news. Bad news is that our last site, when I leveled this back to where it needed to be, water started to come out the front, just like last time. And I thought it was coming from the roof originally, but Stuart checked this. It. It's not coming from the roof. It's actually coming from the other side now. So now this one, you see where it's split on the seam right here. All this seal is broken, and I'm sure the water is just coming down the side of the RV, going inside here, and then just making its home underneath there. And we've got kind of the same problem as what we had before. <laughs> Probably have to take this apart, take this down, look inside, see what's going on, see if it's just where the frame's got too much flex again, that needs to be screwed back up, or if we have some sort of a bigger issue going on like we were afraid we might have had last time with the frame. Backwards, what do you backwards. think? What are you doing, bud? Let's do backwards, backwards. Backwards, backwards. Deja vu. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the plate is down, man. That plate is bent now. Look at all that water. A little moisture in there. Luckily enough, it was just this side. Okay. It was broken open from here to about here. I mean, I you think out, it's a deal with insulations? Okay, it's a, I pulled I mean, out the wet stuff. Okay. Because so it would have never, never dried. If you want, we could get more insulation to pack in there. Um, I mean, if you think there's enough, I'm good, but it's... I, I kind of pillowed it out. I mean, I didn't pull out a ton. I mean, by okay. any means. So you think we're good now? <laughs> I mean, I... I, I guess added, we should have thought to, like, come over here and check on that. I don't know. Well, I did. There was two holes up here that were missing screws. Um, both of them were broken off. What? 
they the heads were actually broken off. So there were screws there here. Were, and they, they broke snapped. off since last time? So that's why I added four additional. I mean, is that uh, normal for there to be so much flex is breaking the breaking the screws inside of there? <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I want to say no. <laughs> so to summarize, we checked all this in Tennessee, it was not going on. We also checked when we got to Orlando and none of this was going on. So at some point between Orlando to Tampa, back to Orlando, the screws broke loose within there and it started flexing so much that it broke the seal loose on the outside and water started to come in because it did. It monsooned here for like three or four days. Bye. Oh, no. You want to give her a hug? It's just see you later. It's, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so I think we got the water issues taken care of, at least for now. It's all <laughs> part of the journey. All part of the journey. We'll see how it does going down the road on the front again. So this video is about before and after. Like, what do you feel that's different in the after than maybe what you felt before. Like, what has this done there? It's totally opened up the space in here. We had redone our house that we lived in um, before RV life, and I just really enjoyed that process and bringing something to life. I think it's a cool hack that RVs can definitely be updated to feel like a home. And definitely don't think you have to redo an RV. This RV had good decor before, but just don't be scared because I know for some reason in an RV it's intimidating because it's it's very a very similar process. So we've used different things for paint. Supply chain is just a mess right now. But you want to get something that's higher end. It's a small space. You're not buying a ton of paint. Just 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 spend the money, get some good paint. Don't ask us how we know. Yeah, yeah. And I skipped a little bit <laughs> in our open range, and I should not have. <laughs> but this is what we used for this rig, and it being bare from Home Depot. Color is called Sensible Hue. Did you say this is a sensible hue? <laughs> it sure is. That's it's a Sherwin Williams color, but we color matched it because we weren't able to get that paint. So, but that is what the paint is. This is just such a calming, happy color. Like. My mood is completely changed in here. It feels like our space and our personality and not like when you walk into an RV, all of them look the same. One of the questions asked when you're painting is like, are the cabinets real wood or are they not real wood? Because if they're not real wood, I think you probably need to do a little more prep and be a little more careful what you use on them. These door faces are all real wood on our cabinets on the solitude. So just a little sanding, throw it on, you're good to go. The rest of the cabinets beyond that, this is not real wood, um, which it still seemed to do okay on that too. So we did end up Velcroing. This is all Velcroed. It will come off if we need it to, but it's it's Velcroed down. This Velcroed, Velcroed, Velcroed. I mean, a lot of this is Velcroed down. So we're still going to move around a few things, but hopefully not too much. Today is actually a travel day, so I'm curious. Uh, our next video will start with us moving. Really short travel day so that we can just keep an eye on everything and see. Anytime you do something new like this, you want to like, see how it travels down the road. And guys, I know if you feel like me, like you may have your, I'm a very black and white kind of person. Um, she would throw out colors. Some of them like, that's a hard no. Like there's just no way I'm doing that. Some of them like, okay, again, my, my first preference was white, then black, and then basically anything else is gonna be third. Maybe that's the lesson there for me, you know, for your teams with your partner or whatever, like not everything needs to be a hard no. You do need to compromise somewhere, but just keep trying. Just keep working together until you find that color which is what this ended up being, that color that you can compromise on. Because I knew if he hated it, I would hate it. Even <laughs> if I loved it, if you hated it, I was going to hate it. I really needed a color that we both enjoyed. And I think you're enjoying it. I enjoy it. I'm, I'm learning to enjoy it. <laughs> and she's absolutely loving it. And so that, lights, Come on, be that lights me up. You love it. I'm learning to enjoy it. It's great. I think everything came together really nicely. We had debated on, do we leave this wood trim? Do we paint it? I think once the cabinets got in, I really liked the contrast. Um, it kind of brings some warmth and texture into the, into the place. But if you're not into wood, those are easily paintable as well. And that's something you'll see on our channel a lot. We make decisions even with buying RVs and the travel thing and everything. Like sometimes we'll just make the best decision we can for the moment if it's a low risk decision, we know we can build off of. So we didn't 100% commit on painting the trim around the slides and stuff because we knew let's do the cabinets first and then we'll decide on that. So it's, it's okay to do things in phases. We actually painted all of this white first 
built that out and said, okay, next is gonna be the trim, next is gonna be the cabinet. So don't feel like you have to come in and say, all right, we're doing everything at once. We have to have a full blown plan. It's gonna be perfect. It's okay to go in phases. Did add some greenery in here. Yes, it can be something super simple. These are not real plants. Real plants die with us. Don't so. tell. Oh, on sorry. All right, go ahead. My black thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already trying to keep two lives alive. I don't. I can't. I can't keep anything else alive at this point. Do you think this will ride, or do we need to take uh, it down? I think it'll ride. Let's try We're going to try it and see if it rides. We'll find out. All this is Velcroed down. This in the back is Velcroed down. Velcroed, Velcroed. So just Velcro as much as you can down to hold it as we ride. Question we get a lot too is resale. What does this do to resale values? So I think the color choices you make, if it's very personal to you, but not personal to lots of other people, that can impact <laughs> resale later on. And I think the second thing would be if the quality of the remodel, if um, you know you can see the brush strokes all over the place, if things are just uneven, if I think as long as the remodel is done well and it's done to be appealing to a wide audience, mm -hmm. um, I don't know that you lose much, if anything, when you remodel. Some people are even making some serious money by buying old RVs and like yeah. redoing them. Because so, a lot of people want a renovated mm -hmm. RV, but they, I mean, it's a very strenuous process. Mm -hmm. Ton of nook and crannies. <laughs> Lindsay came up with the idea to do the island just one shade darker than the other cabinets. Just that one shade darker on the island just really adds extra dimension and like a little more pop of color. And that's a really fun touch is just that one shade difference. We haven't shown you guys the bedroom at all, so. Totally fresh, totally new. Can we do this thing? <laughs> all right, the bedroom is a work in progress. This is just. Well, it's probably what, what, 70% maybe on the bedroom maybe. Okay, so we painted it white, which automatically makes this space feel so open and bright in here. We took the same paint from our cabinets in the kitchen, painted that, same hardware. We're one short if you noticed that, so we've got another one of those coming. Stuart and Lindsay just sanded the top of this down. Any way we can incorporate that natural wood look and as you can see, this is Nathan's office here, his desk. It's a multi-purpose room, but I loved the way this dresser turned out. It looks awesome. I have my brother working on some new closet doors that I'm so excited about. It's gonna be great. And I picked out um, some wallpaper that may get some comments, but I love it so much. And <laughs> Have I seen this wallpaper? <laughs> I don't think I've seen this wallpaper. Um, where's the wallpaper going? It's going on this wall here. Okay. So we'll we'll change just one wall of pop here, and then we'll keep everything else simple. And we've got some new bedding choices. I'm not sure what we're gonna do back in this nook yet, but we did take out the headboard. But that is a to be continued. Oh, and they sanded down our night tables as well as that same natural wood look. So, so excited. For the bathroom? We painted the walls white. We added some, the sticky tile back here. It's not the like cheap sticky. It's like, feels like a really good, almost looks real tile. It's great. We're probably going to end up um, having to hand paint these cabinets because everything else was sprayed, but you can spray, you can hand paint. We've done both. We were doing this ourselves and I knew I would probably only use the sprayer one time, which maybe you can rent them. I don't know, but mm -hmm. like would I invest six, eight hundred, a thousand dollars into the sprayer? Probably not because we wouldn't have multiple jobs. If you already have the sprayer or you have a friend that has a sprayer, the spray finish looks phenomenal. So all this was sprayed with a sprayer in the ceiling and just look how just beautifully finished it is. There's no paint strokes on it. There's no missing in the cracks. Like it all looks so well blended and just like it's meant to be that color. Um, and even on the ceiling, it just looks flawless. It's just a really flawless finish. And the sprayer is just a really great option if it's available. So the kids room is a work in progress as well. We've got the walls sprayed. We changed out the trim on the slide here. I want to get the baskets changed out and find a way to display their art in here. I think that would be really great. We get asked about how we did JJ's railing um, quite a bit. We've added that to our gear list if you want to check out what hardware we use for that but this is working out great for that. So excited about the before and after changes we've made to, mm -hmm. to make this feel like a home. And I waited a year. You asked me to wait a year 
<laughs> 11 months. I'll, I'll take it. Here. I'll take it 11 months. I think we did phase one, but yeah. So if you want to see more of our renovations, we did a renovation on the Airstream. Painting in this thing takes forever. We did a renovation on the open range. I'm paying you in tacos. <laughs> And then we did a renovation, obviously, in this rig with phase one. And now phase two. <laughs> I'll, I've created a playlist where you can check all those out in one place if you want to get motivated or you want to see what we did right or what we did wrong. We're, we're super pumped to let you guys into our home and just see the before and after of this transformation. Well, that is our journey for today. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.